So let's examine the following example that will deal with using the beat frequency to calculate what the frequency of a piano string is. Let's suppose a certain piano string produces 5 beats when sounded with a 360 Hz tuning fork and produces 8 beats when sounded with a 363 Hz tuning fork. Using this information, what is the frequency of the piano string? Well, let's begin by recalling the equation, the formula that gives us the beat frequency between any two waves. So the beat frequency between two waves is equal to the absolute value of the difference between the frequencies. So F2 minus F1, where F2 is the frequency of the tuning fork and F1 is the frequency of the piano string. So notice we know that the beat frequency is 5 beats every single second. So the beat frequency is 5 hertz. Now, we are given that F2, the frequency of the tuning fork, is 360. And we want to find what F1 is. So solving this equation, we have two different possibilities for the frequency of the string. We have either 355 hertz or 365 hertz. So how exactly would we determine which one of these is the actual frequency of the piano string? Now we have to use the second part of our problem which tells us that if we place a second tuning fork with a different frequency given by this quantity, the number of beats heard every single second is 8. So we have to use this result. So, let's suppose that the frequency is 365 hertz. So we want to check if this frequency will satisfy the second condition. So 8 beats is the beat frequency for the second tuning fork. So 8 hertz is equal to, well now F2 is no longer 360, F2 is 363 hertz. So 363 hertz minus, well we assume F1 is 365 hertz. 363 minus 365 gives us negative 2 and the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. So notice that 8 hertz does not equal to 2 hertz and that means this initial assumption that F1 is 365 hertz is not satisfied. It is not true and so this is not the correct frequency. This must be the frequency of the piano string. And let's make sure, let's check that this in fact satisfies the second condition. So, suppose F1 is 355 hertz, so we have 8 beats, 8 beats per second or 8 hertz is equal to the absolute value of 363 hertz minus 355 hertz gives us 8. And because 8 hertz is equal to 8 hertz, the frequency of the piano string is in fact 355 hertz.